Hi guys, this is Dharam Singh and uh, I have Jagan with me and it is privilege for me to have Jagan here uh, to listen from him, his, his uh, journey and what he did to pass PGMP and he will introduce himself but let me introduce him. He is uh, currently in Sarja working for uh, uh, Sarja Bank, Islamic Bank and uh, he joined my program uh, and uh, he passed his exam on 3rd of March. So today we're going to talk about uh, Jagan's experience and I will be interviewing him, talking to him, and you will you will listen what he has to say and also feel free to ask questions. You can, uh, throughout the uh, broadcast, you feel free to ask questions and by end of the uh, end, in the end we'll ask, uh, allow you to, uh, we'll answer your questions. <clears throat> okay, so, so yeah, so we'll talk about uh, yeah, yeah, the speaker is uh, Jagan, as you, you know, Jagan Mohan. And uh, we'll talk about uh, his experience. And uh, I will also talk, I will talk about like how to write application and what to do to make yourself ready for the exam. What are the common mistakes we do? And also I will talk about a little bit about my fast track mentor program, how that program can help you. And then we'll open the question, uh, floor for question answer. So if you do not know who Jagan is, this is how it looks like. And you can probably see him actually. He's sitting in a little bit odd position because his, his mic speaker is uh, not working properly. So this is what he really looks like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over to you Jagan. If you can spare, uh, yeah. uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, good morning and uh, welcome to all. My name is Jagan and uh, I live in Sharjah. And I work for a bank here in Sharjah and is head of uh, ITPMO. And uh, I started this journey. In fact, I wanted to do PGMP and it was my dream for the last five years. I had first came across PGMP, the term PGMP itself, I came across somewhere in 2011-12. And, but I had done my PMP in 2007. So I was aware of uh, this kind of program, which is there, but I, I focused it on 2010. When I wanted to take it, I was not eligible. So it was requiring some four years of program experience and all these things. So I was just waiting for my opportunity. So in 2012, I embarked upon Temenos co-banking program, which was a four year program right from stage of selection into the implementation and then transition to life. So that gave me an opportunity and a full fledged uh, work experience as a program. And since then, I thought like, okay, 2017, 16, we launched the, uh, we we went live, and uh, 2016, uh, end of 2016, I, 17, I started this journey. So, so that's what, about uh, I, uh, how I wanted to start this journey, and why I wanted to start this journey was like, uh, since I am now uh, managing a huge IT portfolio programs and uh, projects, I felt that it is it is suitable for me to embark upon this program, which also gives me, the, gives me an authentic uh, way of representing myself as a program manager and a PMO head. So that was one of the main reasons for me to embark upon this program. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So uh, do you think this uh, having PGMP will help you in your day-to-day uh, -day life? Not uh, Yes, of course, definitely it will help. It, it, it has given a new perspective of uh, how the PGMP methodology works, and it is slightly different from uh, our practical experience. So most of the times we the practice is different, the theory is different, but it is good that we, we try to implement those theory wherever possible to the to the to a very good extent. So in that way it is very helpful for me. And uh, from a CV building perspective as well, it also gives you an additional edge over others when you uh, look for any new openings or new things. So it, it also helps in career wise as well. Mm. Perfect. That's the reason why uh, I had uh, done this. Perfect. And you also uh, planning to come to Australia and uh, do you think this will help you in migration, migrating to new country? Yes, definitely. We will have, we will, we'll have, we'll have to compete with so many people. So it is definitely having an edge and it also, one thing that proves you in PGMP is that uh, the, the selection process, I think the selection process of writing those five domain essays, those things and get reviewed by independent panelists itself shows you that uh, that you are you you are you have the program experience and you will have definitely an edge in a, in a new country which is uh, authenticated by pmp pmi as well 
and once you pass mm. you have you have a solid uh, backing about your program management experience so that makes little definitely a difference what i hope so perfect yep yep uh, good luck for that and uh, looking forward to see you or meet you face to face in coming coming months or so all right so let's talk about your journey and tell me uh, tell us about uh, what did you do and uh, i think you have come up with a flow chart yeah okay uh, now what i did was like it, it it was similar something to a real life program when i do pgmp when i say i really compared it with my with the program itself i put in all elements of spm3 in a program which is more uncertain we don't know what will happen how it will so all these elements were there in the in the in the in the in my journey as actually so i started somewhere yeah. around mid october where i did my feasibility and analysis and those this kind of stuff whether it is affordable for me or what kind of material should i use where to approach and all those things and uh, i started uh, slowly collecting the materials and other things and seeing who is there in the market who can so somehow i found there is a, there was a local boot camp that happened which i did it in october and through which the application was also done initially but there was a big like big gap that is a big gap which which is a lesson learned for me i did not concentrate there after after the boot camp so i left it actually that was my mistake so then in late october somewhere around november i actually came upon dharam which was really a very good uh, opportunity for me so i enrolled in his camp and i had uh, weekend sessions which gave me a good time for me to go through the subjects the moment i went through his session to two hour session yeah, i used to go to the chapters see what i have been taught and go through those chapters and prepare for the next chapter when he comes then i could ask some doubts and all of those things so that way it helped me a lot the dharam sessions especially and i had made a plan myself that i have to study 2 to 3 hours while i was attending the rams class which was in november and i planned to take it in february 14th my first my first date was february 14th when i was in november december the classes were weekend classes so it was it was it was around 11 to 12 sessions from the rams side so i had ample time but still due to uh, my work pressures and other things i couldn't concentrate i had to push it but when it came to december end and january i made a calendar plan and this is actually my lessons learned and i had to stick to that plan and it requires a very strict discipline that we have to follow those 3 hours or whatever has been timed out in my calendar that is in the schedule program schedule which i make if i may call it as okay we have to stick to that schedule and devote that much time to understand spm understand eco and understand the question banks which is there with dharam and then the pathfinder the the and then there is a mind mapping which is also provided by dharam later on so those kind of things which we have to strictly follow and understand so that was that was from a preparation perspective i also used the jeans jean uh, and ginger levin uh, question bank to understand the concepts their 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 questions help us mainly to understand the deep dive concepts both the correct answers and the wrong answers both if i get a correct answer i used to go and see why i did it correct whether i have understood the concept or i just did an answer correct i didn't i never feel I used to feel happy when i did a correct answer i was always having the doubt whether the correct answer is really correct and i understood the concept as well so based on that uh, those kind of analysis i had a very good practice of all these uh, question papers and there is ginger levin even online is also there which also helps us to see that is the level of preparation which i did and as i proceeded towards the end of february or uh, towards the close of uh, my date which is actually 4th march i took 10 days off from my work before 15 days i had revised my plan where i had to do two chapters of spm in one single day he previously i used to take three or four days to complete one chapter about two hours per mm -hmm. day but i rigorized yeah. the studies in the last 10 days i ensured that in one in the last 10 days out of five days i used to ensure that i did spm complete chapter eight chapters in one day that was more of a brushing kind of thing and visualizing the concepts at the same time i also went through the question banks and one thing which i would like to say that was the question banks whenever i did it one is mainly i did it for ensuring myself that whether how much i am getting okay from a perspective of uh, total uh, this one uh, correct or wrong second thing is time management 
Yeah, one thing I would important. like to tell is that uh, even if you, I, I, in, in, in all jeans and ginger levins, I never used to call, cross 52% or 55% total, pass percentage. But that should not undermine you and make sure, make you that you are not prepared. So that is yep. one thing that I would like to convey to the future, uh, our, our friends over there, that they should not be discouraged by the percentage that they are getting. They should be make sure that the wrong answers, why get, why they got the wrong, uh, wrong answers and try to see that they don't, they, they learn that concept. So question, yep. pay, this mock exams are never to estimate your preparedness. That is something which I practiced it. In fact, yep. uh, Dharam used to tell me that you should have a guts to do a mock exam in the last two days. I did the mock exam again, <laughs> one of the mock. Still, I got 52, 55, but I never backed down and changed the date. Okay, yeah. that please, uh, we should not do that. It is just only for our uh, practice, practice, practice purpose only. That is one thing. Now, so, so Jagan, uh, yes, so Jagan is very important point. You, you, you raise a very important point. How you should, how you sh we should see these uh, mock exams. So mock exam, I'm, I'm recommending uh, in my classes. One of them is my mock exam, which is uh, obvious. And it is considered to be one of the closest uh, to the exam. And Jean's exam is another good exam. And Ginger's mm. exam. Yeah. So Ginger's exam is harder, ex harder than other exams. And some people actually, uh, once they do and they start getting 40, 45 percent, 50 percent, they they actually so f they get frustrated and yes. they're depressed and they don't even uh, look at the answers and they don't analyze and they give up. And uh, these people, they actually struggle in the exam. Mm -hmm. But when they listen to my advice, when you listen to my advice, okay, don't worry, you know, find the, the way you have to see the answer. Okay, you got whatever 45%, 50%, that's okay. Now look at the question, uh, questions where you got wrong, analyze them, and make sure you go to the SPM where it is mentioned. And most of the time you'll find that she is pointing to the very minute detail. And yes. that forces you, that forces you to read the topic in detail. Absolutely, absolutely. This is what I exactly felt. The more I did uh, Ginger Levin, we we go back to the book and we we study the concept very depth, and that helps us in the actual exam. Exactly. And if you are scoring 65, 70 percent in Ginger's exam, I'm I'm very very sure you're going to love the exam. You're going to in, you're going to laugh. What uh, I don't know why yes, Dharam yes. was saying this is a difficult exam, and yeah. uh, you will feel that this exam is one of the easiest exams. So if you can yeah. listen to my advice, the guidance, and you know, it, this is not, uh, yes, it's a difficult exam, but it's not the most difficult exam. It all depends on how you are prepared, how much ready you are. That's all about it. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, so Jagan, how was the experience with the, you, you talked about application, I think application wise, you, you did already did before you coming to my program. Mm. And uh, it got approved uh, in how, how, how many days it took for uh, application approval? Uh, uh, roughly the application took about 15 to 20 days. The complete mm. process of once I submitted, I got the response between, within 15 days. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. And uh, only thing I like to remind because this is a rush time. And I uh, just to remind that exam is changing on 25th of June 2018. So many, many, many people are trying to do the exam before the change happen. And you should not be surprised to see there are another 300 PGMP coming out between now and June, 20, June 2018 because there's so many, I mean, I, at least I can count my, my student. I'm expecting to see around 70 to 80, 80 of my student passing PGMP before that. So if that's my case, there are other people also may ready. So I think 200 PGMP will be, will be coming. So what does that mean is, when you submit your application, you can expect a little more extra time. And, mm -hmm. and still we have two and a half months to go. So you should not say, okay, the, you know, it can take time. And many times applications get approved even one day as well. Once you, once, the, once you pay the payment, many applications also get approved in one day. It all depends how busy the, the reviewer is. Okay, sometimes one day, two days, three days, and mo most of the time, two to four days, four weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but my, my uh, one son to the son is like, please make sure like your application uh, draft process is get getting reviewed by Dharam very quickly, and uh, try to give maximum stuff so that 
the things get reviewed and you can post it in time so do not take too much time in submitting the application itself once it is reviewed mm. so that could delay the process perfect yeah. okay so i think we talked about uh, how did you prepare for the exam and what books yeah. and training material did you use so we already know about and this already in the front so how did you perform in your mock exams just a, i think it's a diff difficult question you may or may not like to answer you know yeah yeah that's what uh, no this is one important question i would like to answer okay, yeah, okay. mock exams mock exams i could not do any of the mock exams more than 55% as i said all right okay even okay. i searched some online resources online google resources i could not perform more than 55 but that never that should never discourage you because mm. most of these online mock exam from ginger levin especially it's it's tough but it is not that it uh, it is not that we will we will not be able to make it in the real exam from my experience i am telling yeah. yes this toughness will give you to go back and study this concept again and again and try to correlate that with what uh, you have been uh, you have been discussing in yeah. this uh, in the sessions so in that way the mock exam really helps and the second thing why mock exam is very important is it helps you to uh, uh, judge how much time management you need and how you are going to manage your time that is the only yeah. purpose of the mock exam and not to evaluate ourselves so i will never advocate that based on mock you should be ready to go yes but it fairly tells you 65 is a good score in a mock yeah so jagan here i have to little bit uh, disagree with you you know while your case is different you you are a superman and you managed to complete with 55% in mock exam my expectation generally i i do not allow people to go for exam unless i am satisfied so that's the reason i have a very good uh, first time pass rate one is you know i'm recommending three exams one is the gingers exam my expectation in gingers exam is around 66 to 60 to 65% and then comes uh, jeans exam i'm expecting 75% and if you are my student if you are attending my program and uh, my expectation in my exam is around 80 to 85% Uh, my exam little bit easy, but is, they are generally to the point. And you should not be surprised to see a couple of questions or maybe three, four questions similar to my exam. And, and Jagan, I don't know if you have seen any no, questions similar to my. Yes, yes, yes. I would say at least twenty to twenty percent. At least twenty percent of the questions were similar to your uh, oh. question bank. Okay, though the 20%. formats and other things will be different. So yeah, around twenty, at least twenty percent of the questions were around uh, those areas. all oh, right okay five to six questions or 10 questions i believe it is it may be exact but another 10 15 questions would be around the same concept which are which are close to that yeah i don't think i can say exact because the exact means uh, yeah, is yeah, a yeah. copy exactly <laughs> not no 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 it is it is it is five uh, maybe 10 10 are exact because my memory is now uh, uh, not so much but at least another 10 would be around the same concepts exact same concepts yeah. but the options may be different or you would you will remember oh i i saw this question somewhere around this particular question bank yeah so, so i think it's all it. about yeah so is when we do go through the class uh, in the more in the two to in a fast track mentor program whatever program we do 10 questions and this is where i'm talking about how to eliminate the wrong answers in the fast as you know faster because we really have limited time how to eliminate mm -hmm. the answer and how to pick the right answer in shortest time and many times you know i'll give you one example you know and uh, this is pmi is very you know particular and uh, can give this kind of question the question is all about you know talking about uh, you are in the evaluation phase you are looking you know trying to find how many you know sorry you are in the procurement process and you got one uh, one vendor responding to you and he according to to the proposal uh if everything goes well it will be 4 million dollar you budgeted 5 million dollar and so on so it give you a scenario okay now they're asking you question what is the schedule variance okay so question uh, answers are minus 20% plus 20% 80% or no variance so and people keep calculating and answering you know and after 4 5 minutes they realize that okay either they realize or they give come up with answer minus 20 or plus 20 something like that but if you are careful enough you will easily pick no variance one because we talking about variance which is in not, not in percentage it is always in a, you know uh, some kind of full number 
moment you say percentage you are the answer is saying something wrong so immediately you can say no variance or you can also see you are in the evaluation you are not in the execution because you execute once you are in execution yes you have schedule variance cost variance but we, well, the, the question is talking about initiation phase so immediately if you're careful you get the answer almost immediately that, that's you know that's what you're going to that's what you have learned in my program and i think that helped you in your exam when you're doing the real exam yeah yeah so Jagan, do you want to talk about uh, this slide you have uh, put here? Yeah, what yeah, is this yeah. all about? Yeah, see, mainly the more uh, focus should be given on SPM, all SPM, and then there are uh, the ECO tasks. The ECO tasks, some of them are in sequence, but most of them are not in sequence. What I what I had done in, during my preparation task was, I I studied SPM, then I went to the respective chapters ECO. And I tried to figure out where that particular particular uh, ECO task is appearing in that chapter. So I made a mental note of that. And there are some keywords, especially the ones which there are there are certain keywords in ECO task which you need to remember. Then the, these keywords appear in the exam as well. So which will be helpful to correlate and answer that particular uh, question if it is an ECO question. So similarly, like like that, I had practiced. And inputs and outputs are also definitely required, especially in chapter eight. And mathematical formulae, formulae based questions, and certain theories. Like basically, these two you have to go back to your PIMBOK, where you will be, uh, we'll have to just, uh, I used uh, to study PIMBOK for two full days. The whole, uh, this one I, I studied for two days completely, focusing only on PIMBOK, just brushing around the concepts of human, uh, H, uh, human resource, human resource HR management, then quality, then scope management, then uh, cost and risk management. These are the five areas where these particular uh, mathematical questions and the theoretical related questions uh, appear in the exams. So those are the areas I focus there. Practice certain formulas like EVM formulas, especially unvalue management formulas, especially I practiced it. And uh, I focus these areas. Plus there are other artifacts, very important, like mandate, business case, program plan, program charter, roadmap where it comes and how it comes and why it is used this is the different situational questions that will be given so we need to make sure make sure that we read these uh, things and figure out why it is applied and which stage that basically program plan which stage is it in the pre formulation phase or the preparation phase or which phase like like that questions will come so you need to start visualizing the question itself when we are mm -hmm. when we are studying you have yeah. to put questions to yourself so that okay why i'm studying this why where is the concept and which stage it appears so these are the three to four likely questions which will come around these particular artifacts and more more artifacts as well yeah yeah so i think you can expect two to three question or four five question from every artifact you know whether it's a program mandate and or a business case or business program plan and so and so so idea is you should know what is the purpose of this document and what are the content of the document if you get that, you're, you will you will be getting many questions right. Yeah. And other thing is, other thing is, um, uh, we need to know the uh, characteristics, typical characteristics of uh, uh, every phase, every domain, subdomain, every process. Because you will see the question with scenario. You are in. They give you his scenario. They ask you which which phase you are in, which sub phase you are in, which process you are doing. It's a simple question if you know. Uh, in the detail about process, phase, sub phase, subdomain, all those things and activities. Perfect. Okay. Um, your exam experience, I think this is with. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, if you want to talk about this particular slide. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, during my exam, during my exam, what I could see is mostly around whatever I mentioned on the slide 50, 60 percent of the questions were around scenario based. And 20 to 30 percent were around uh, SPM artifacts, input and output. Input and output mostly on output. They will not ask input. They will ask mostly on what are the outputs on the during in, in the chapter number eight uh, regarding the processes, various processes. And some of them ECO tasks were there. And formula-based questions were very less. Around four to five questions were there. Formula-based questions. So that I will just tell you how did I attend the formula-based questions when we speak about the exam strategy. So. Mm. Mostly around this, it was it was reflecting. Okay, and and I can yeah. see you uh, your about target almost uh, you know 
yeah yeah good... i could uh, yeah, yeah i could get around i could manage to get around about target three areas yeah. was about target and uh, two areas were uh, were in target so average yeah. came out to be yeah yeah so 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 the people on 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 the phone or the on the line just to remind you that there are four uh, stages or not and there are four places you hello 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 yeah now now we could hear the last oh, part we could not hear okay thanks for reminding me okay so what i was talking about uh, when you get your uh, when you complete the exam you will know whether you are about target target below target or need improvement so if you are in in the top two categories you will pass the exam and that doesn't mean that uh, you have to have all target or about targets you can have mixture of you know if you have three about target and one target and even if you have one need one improvement you can still pass as long as you are not in the program life cycle okay so yeah i'm very happy to see this result uh, jagan for you yeah thank you thank you for uh, all your uh, support uh, dharam at this stage all right yeah. okay so your lesson learned please yeah so <clears throat> mainly as i said uh, one of the important thing what i have highlighted is discipline the one which i have highlighted in capital letters that is the core of uh, core of the full preparation which means that as we all know we are all uh, working people and we have lot of pressures especially if you are in project and program management we know how how we are bound by timelines and other things so it is very difficult for us to get the time so but still the request is that you make sure that you stick to your timelines if you have planned two days of study you what i did is what i did is i virtually made a calendar in fact i made my own calendar i wrote down what what subjects what units i will study on that day so i made sure that i study that unit on that day so that is one thing follow the plan and follow in spirit that is one thing select and co select the coach and material that is very important thing then second most important thing is i participated in the telegram group of dharam where lot of questions were being part, being uh, thrown open to participants to uh, answer the questions from other uh, uh, participants as well and even i used to participate that helped me a lot in getting different perspective of the same uh, kinds of questions that also helped me and yeah. uh, one more important thing is like we don't have to be afraid of yes it is very pressure when you, when you start building up coming close to the exam you will feel that definitely it is it is it is taking some toll on you you both your work pressure and your this one but one thing is that if you are making sure that i need this to be completed on this particular day go and book the exam one big big lesson that that uh, lesson i did not learn actually i did not learn that lesson but i knew normally i i do is i put the target and work backwards so please fix the exam and work backwards otherwise sometimes what i have seen is some people they will think that first they will prepare and then they will book the exam that never happens maybe some 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 people might be happening but but usually what we do is since we are not being bound by a targeted date we tend to be relaxed or we tend to give up in between so that's one definitely a general message that i would like to pass is fix the date of the exam comfortable to you and still stick to that yeah. that is one thing so, and, and so jagan here i like to bring two points one is about the telegram telegram group is uh, free of uh, cost is no no joining fee anybody even if you are not my student you send me the may, uh, email or uh, uh, message me that i like to be part of the telegram group so you can you i will I add you there so no charges for that and second thing about the booking exam uh, given that i'm oh, sorry if you are going for pg uh, spm 3 base exam you have uh, roughly two, um, just over two and a half months so plan your exam accordingly and 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 in the last few days is going to be rush so uh, allow enough time for you or yourself to book your exam and once you get approval on a uh, panel review approved and you should block your date because you don't want to be in situation where you are ready to take exam and you cannot find time we cannot find a slot for many 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 days
and you may realize that either you have to travel to another country or you have to wait for uh, SPM4, which you don't want to do any either of them. Yeah, and uh, we need to take some calculated risks. That is like when you are preparing satisfactorily and if you are fine, comfortable that you know at least as, as Dharam said around 80-85% uh, of uh, things, then you are good to go for the exam. So no need to again start like uh, thinking on that. And the most important thing is please we need to reach in time. We reach in time to the examination hall, which is the, num the number six, point number six. Remain calm during the exam. Okay, mm. that exam strategy I'll just like to briefly speak when we come across that question. The, and uh, utilize full time. That also I'll just speak in a couple of minutes as and when we come to that uh, area. So, yes, uh, Jagan, you like to well, complete whatever you say because this is your last yeah, slide. Exam, exam experience. Yeah, exam experience. I had a very, very good, ex good exam experience which I would like to share in quickly. Um, one thing, important thing is when you are when you are attending to the exam, when you go and sit into the exam, you have four hours. While you are doing your mock-up exam, you please make sure and mentally prepare that you should be able to not spend more than 100 seconds per question. If you divide four and a half hour, four hours divided by 170 questions, roughly it comes to 100 seconds. Okay. Now what I found in the exam was there were some immediately, in, immediately as soon as I started, I got four to five mathematical questions, formula based questions. Though I was very confident in making formula based questions, still I, I, I had to, what I did is I just marked some answer, an option. I, one important thing is please do not skip any question without marking an answer and mark it for review. Always, if you mark it for review, you can come back and visit. If you don't do final submit also, it will get submitted. But please mark an option. So what I did is I marked an option. I did not spend too much on mathematical questions because it is time consuming sometimes. Okay. And you skip to the next question. So I my target was 30 questions in 30 minutes, which I could meet in the first half an hour. Then 60 questions in the first one hour. So what I did is the lengthy questions, which is there, I had to just skim the question. If I get it in the first chance, I used to put the closest answer. Mark it for review, go back. Go to the further questions. Do not spend more time in big questions. I could, I could get at least four to five questions, big lengthy questions, one page. You will spend so much time on reading that, which many of the first paragraph itself is just like not, very, not relevant. You will find something very relevant in the last. So don't keep spending that too much. Just go and skim it. That will come by practice. That will come by practice. And complete it, my, uh, complete all the questions. I took around two and a half hours to complete the question. I had one and a half hours spare time, 60 questions, around 60 questions out of 170 questions for review. I had put it consciously for review. So I did, mm -hmm. I, I could get one and a half hour to re-review three times. So as and when I reviewed, yeah. I changed my around 20 plus questions, my answers, which was a very good time, which I could do. I utilized that time. So what I'm trying to say is don't get stuck with the questions. Keep moving, keep moving and marking. And I did review till the last moment. So that is one of the uh, one of the main thing uh, which helps us in completing the questions within two and a half hours on an average. We will still be left with one and a half hour to review. It's a good time perfect. for us. Perfect, perfect. Yes, it's very important to see all the questions because what happened uh, if you are stuck in first few questions and first few, first uh, first time you see some lengthy question, you may spend few few minutes and you may not be able to complete your full exam. So it is good to uh, what I mean. I'm 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 okay with the Jin, uh, Jagan's uh, approach. What uh, what he's saying is uh, mark uh, not not just mark answer a question and mark even if you're not uh, not attempting it answer it just in case you do not have enough time to come back. Yes. Okay. All the uh, lengthy questions or maybe the some of the uh, question, uh, formula based question wherever you feel that you need more time just answer it and mark and move on. And remember, there's no negative marking. Even if you get negative and uh, wrong, that's okay. If you know, it's, uh, at least you have attempted it. One in four chances there to get it right. Perfect. Thank you, Jagan. And anything else Absolutely. you like to? Uh, anything else? Uh, any points? Uh, you last minute thing. I'm also checking the questions. I don't know if anybody has posted any question. I can't see any question. Maybe I will keep checking there. Looks like I think it's muted. No, they, they can't ask question, but they can they can they put their uh, yeah, yeah. they can put on the yes. Uh, so far, maybe I'm not looking right place. Uh, questions. 
So if you are putting a question, can you uh, WhatsApp me if you already have my WhatsApp number because I don't see any question here. Anyway, we will continue. All right. Okay. So, you know, you probably know, you know, it's, it's, it may be hard, but many people talk, they, they say that it's hard, but it's, it is worth it. You know, after the exam, you will feel satisfied. It's not other exam like Prince 2 or MSP or you know, the other exams as well. Once you achieve PGMP, you will enjoy, you will be very happy to have PGMP. So my request is still, if you're still thinking, go for it and still thinking and do it before 25th of June because you have to still have a lot of time and get it done before it's change. So I will take some time and I will go through what uh, I have prepared for you. And uh, as of my, just give you some stats, I love stats. So as of 1st March 2000, uh, sorry, this should be saying 1st April because I just just did a, a recent one. 1st April 2018, global numbers of number of PGMP is 2,425. So 2,425. Um, in, in March, there were 59 PGMPs, the good numbers. And I'm hoping to see, uh, I think uh, maybe 70, 80 in April and maybe 100 in May and June. So it's, a, it's you know, you, and you will be one of them if you prepare hard. And I'm proud to say I got 144 PGMPs coming for my program. It's not a big number, but I think still I can feel proud of it. 6% 6, 6 total. But the good thing is 2017 was very good area of year for me. I was able to contribute to 52 PGMPs out of 345. And already in 2018, I got 14 PGMPs. Again, still going 13% mark. So love to see this becoming 100 PGMP by, uh, by end of June and up to 20 25% of my contribution so and i i can rest, i can assure you if you join my program you are you have very good chance of passing the exam so before we get into you know if you are into the early stage let me give you very few uh, some tips about how to write the application because application is very important for you um, it has to be it is in english so use proper you know just uh, simple english don't try to use complex words and write in the MS Word, or you can start writing on the uh, online application. Then uh, make sure you, uh, you, you can, uh, even when you start writing uh, online, you can actually download it and you can revise it or you can send it for my review if you are my student. You have to address all the component, every field, and uh, the word limit. I'm talking about program description and the five questions. So word limit is up to 500 words. So you just try to be around 300, 350, or maybe around 400 words. That should be enough to address uh, your requirement. And uh, you should use first person. When you're addressing, talk about what you have done. So feel free to use I because of me. I was able to, I was responsible for this, all this kind of thing. And write only your contribution. You are the program manager, OK? Um, describe how you apply the program major practices. Avoid theoretical responses. Don't write, copy, don't copy and paste from book. And I've seen some application they talk about, okay, I did benefit relation plan and benefit relation plan is used for this, this purpose. It has this component, this component. You are not supposed to write those things. You are talking, talking about to write the benefit relation plan, what you did. You come, you checked uh, with the, your sponsor, you reviewed some other documents, so and so. So this is what the PMI like to see. They like to see examples. Okay. I hope you, uh, you will be able to write a good application. If you need any help with that, I, I'm here to help you. You can join my programs or you can buy application support only. Some of the common mistakes, I think uh, Jagan already highlighted a few of them. Uh, let me go through them uh, here. Um, not understanding the exam complexity. Some people, go for uh, to this exam with the thinking that they are doing a PMP exam, another PMP exam. PMP exam is different. This exam is very, very different. Uh, if I want to put a complexity, it is around 10% more complex than PMP exam. So, and a good thing is if you are prepared, this 10, even the 10% complexity, will, you will not feel that way. So other mistake pe many people do, uh, by the way, passing rate of PMP, uh, PGMP, uh, this is unofficial. To me, it's around 40 to 45 percent. Okay, so if you are passing for the first time, you should feel very, very uh, uh, lucky to have, you know. And, and my, by the way, my students are passing almost, you know, I have 85 percent pass rate. 
So I'm not going to claim that I have 100%. There are people who, after trying everything, they have not passed, but I work with them until they pass. Okay. Uh, not reading PMBOK. Some people go to the exam without even reading PMBOK. Um, PMBOK is very important because a lot of concepts, whatever mentioned in SPM, are related to PMBOK. Okay. And ECO, some people even don't know what is ECO is. They know ECO examination content outline, but they do not understand the purpose of this document. That is very important to know. PMI ethics, some people uh, don't even look at the ethics part. Code of conduct ethics. So please don't forget, uh, forget about these three documents. Some people rely on memorizing. PMP sometimes okay because you got processes and you know some kind of flow chart. Here I'm going to suggest try to create vision, visualize that. Try to get a picture of that uh, benefit relation plan or or a program plan, whatever it is, create a picture in your mind and see how they're logically connected together. And, and the next point is poor time management during exam. So as Jagan said, you should go with the plan and stick to the plan. Yes, there will be time where you may realize that you are not uh, uh, following your plan. Don't worry about it. You know, it may happen that you have you have received a lot of uh, long, lengthy question and you spend a lot of time there. And there are many one-liner questions as well. So even if you get, if you are, let's say you after two hours, you scored only 60, you did only 60 questions. And you, to, you know, left with uh, two hours and 110 questions to go. Don't worry about it. You know, it's, it's okay to, you know, that stage. It is all about how you can recover from this situation. If you are feeling something, you know, uh, maybe a good, good idea to take a quick break and you know, come back quickly, wash your, you know, during break, wash your face and refresh yourself, do some stretching, have some fresh oxygen. So all this will help you to re-strategize. Okay, next point I'm talking about, not have enough rest. Many people, actually one of my students, he went to the exam after his night shift night shift and he exam in the morning imagine what can happen he failed miserable he is, is all of or he is, he scored all of them as need improvement and i called him what happened you are doing very well in this said dharam i know what i i what mistake i did and i'm not going to repeat that he don't didn't he he didn't mention about what happened but after a month he did his exam again and this time he has enough rest and he scored about target so within four weeks time, he was able to convert uh, in, in from need improvement to our target. It's not because he did anything special. This time he took an, a, enough caution. He was, uh, he took a day off and he studied and uh, stopped uh, reading 24 hours before. So he listened to my advice there. So don't panic, don't lose your confidence. Don't study up to the last minute, you know, not taking enough break. You know, if you have to take a break, please take a break. You know, the last thing you want, you're feeling pressured and you you are trying to, you know, not, don't want to waste time. But in doing that, you're actually wasting more time. It can be useful for you. Take a quick, you know, two minute break, come back and uh, concentrate on exam. Other point is uh, some people read too many books. There are lots of books available in the market which talks about program management. It is, it is good to know program engine, but if you are preparing for exam, you should focus on the books which are relevant to the exam. You have to check whether this book is aligned with PMI. PMI, the current edition you are working on. You may be working on a book, uh, reading a book which is uh, based on first edition, second edition. So be, be careful with that. And if you have any doubt, ask me. And uh, sometimes people don't look at the professional uh, assistance. This is very, very important. Unlike PMP, I mean, I did my PMP without having any assistance, but PGMP, I took a class and uh, I was, I, I think I did very good decision. I was able to complete my journey in three months. And I'm talking about in those days, in 2009, 2010, when there was only uh, one person available to teach, Ginger was the only one and not enough books. So I was able to complete my exam just because I was, I took professional assistance from Dr. Ginger Levine at the time. So now the good news is there are many, many people available and uh, some of the good people, and, uh, and one of them is me, of course. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> so I should not be talking about myself. So you already talked enough about me. 
So what you should do uh, as a as a as a PGMP aspirant, you should study hard and prepare. Of course, you have to do that. No, no option you have. You have to study hard, read the books, and prepare. Have uh, and have enough rest and enough you know before the exam time, and select a good mentor, preferably who is already who is PMI REP, and understand your strengths and weaknesses. Work on your weak areas, and maintain work study and and life because you still have to work you still have to f maintain your family and you have to study as well so maintain that part very very important understand the task eco you have to understand make sure you have a clear picture in your mind and read spm the standard the uh, current standard is third edition we are working if you are working on spm third so make sure you read word by word especially after do dr ginger's exam you will realize that uh, how important it is to go through each and every every word and uh, build your exam strategy strategy and, and stick to that doing mock, mock exam we talked about that enough uh, do, uh, picking the right mentor and sorry and then uh, the last second last point i'm talking about this particular app this is a free app this will help you to prepare your pmp or oh, sorry pembok based uh, uh, concepts so this is free app and uh, i have contributed to this app this has uh, almost five star rating and downloaded by more than 60 80 thousand uh, people so it's uh, it has 22 thousand 2200 questions as well so even if somebody is preparing only for pmp this is very very good anyway so important thing is don't panic keep your focus and work hard All right, and uh, how do you know if you're ready for the exam? We have talked about this in enough uh, depth. Um, you are doing three exams, which I'm recommending, and uh, I already told the percentage, the 65% in Ginger's exam and 75% in Gene, my around 80%. You have to look for the consistency of the mock exam, okay? And uh, we can have a discussion, especially the last, uh, last session we have, one-to-one -one session, I will analyze your readiness and make sure you are ready. If, you, if there's any gaps, I will advise you to do something more with it. And that last session is uh, planned a week before your exam date. So a week is enough. In case, I actually asked two, uh, two people to postpone the exam because I thought they are not ready for the exam. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they, 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 they listened to my advice and they postponed it. Um, all right. so. Ah, yeah, testimonial, enough of testimonial anyway, so I'll leave this for a couple of seconds. Uh, but and, uh, Jagan has already talked about, I have so many students uh, from almost every part of the world. And this is Steve, he attended my program, so he got his result. Uh, yeah, enough of me. Uh, upcoming boot camp, so I just leave it for, for a couple of seconds, uh, just to show there are, there are potential programs coming up. And uh, there's a... And there's some link as, as well and some pricing. So if you, you can have a look to the pricing. Um, mentoring program is becoming more popular. So I'm, I'm start reducing my boot camps. Uh, that avoids me to flight and uh, booking all those things. But my uh, mentoring programs are working very, very, uh, uh, a lot of people are joining those programs. The first one is a you know, personal program. Of course, this is cost involved, high cost, because of we have a one dedicated person, and uh, it's a flexible. And whenever you you know we if you want two hours, you and it's it's com actually composed of twelve sessions, and we can have twelve session in uh, six weeks. We can have twelve session in twenty four weeks, depending upon your your style and uh, learning style, everything. And the one uh, thing, uh, the second one actually the wrong wrong sequence. The second part is it should be a faster group program. Faster group program is uh, the cost is 1150, and the, this is where many people are benefiting. Within six weeks, you will get uh, you will learn and ready to be ready to pass the exam. So in that program, if you're joining the uh, faster group program, and uh, the cost for that is actually reverse. Personal program is uh, 1950, and the faster program is 1150. Um, I will, I will talk, talk about the uh, faster program in a detail uh, in a few minutes. And there's a group program, uh, group mentoring program. This is uh, cheaper than the faster program because this will go for 12 weeks. And I'm starting a uh, few programs uh, in, to, in May. 
and that will be based on fourth edition so if you are preparing for fourth edition then this program can be good for you and that program will go up to mid to end of june or maybe i think uh, that will go up to mid mid july uh, recorded program for any reason uh, you cannot join fast track or personal or group program you can use the uh, recorded program as well you will get exactly same thing what you get in the fast track program okay and the difference between fast track and the recorded program is you don't get to join the two hour session two hour sessions are the best place to learn and uh, you don't get to join but yes you will have access to me via phone email and whatsapp or telegram group whatever it is uh, yeah if the cost is your uh, con constraint then you can consider uh, recorded mentoring program as well um, just quickly talk about what is my fast track why you should think about the fast track mentoring program the amount of deliverables you're going to get here i'm not going to read line by line but let me talk about some of the things you know complete reference guide so this is where you get get to know this is where you get everything you need to know about pgmp while i'm claiming that it's got, got everything but still you have to read spm so please read spm along with the complete reference guide the important part is you will get pre-recorded 11 sessions so these are around two hours and you will watch these videos two videos uh, per session and you will watch and stop at a point where we are about to start questions because i want you to do the question with me okay so um, in this when you watch the, there's a, a particular style to watch the video when you watch the video you have your spm and, uh, and my book next to you so you watch stop and watch so you go to watch let's say 10 minutes of video and 15 minutes of video and then stop and then read the related topic from spm and related topic from my book you will not move to next part of the video unless you understand this topic very well okay and when I'm saying very well, you read SPM, the, that particular section, word by word. And you have understood, you have picturized, you, meant, you have created a mind map in, in, about that. So this one and a half uh, hour or two hour video, you will finish in four to five hours. Purely because you may have to rewind it or you may have to read, stop, all those things. Very, very powerful way of learning. And then you will participate in six, uh, two hour sessions. And uh, this is where the learning is happening because yes, whatever you learn in this this two this week, and uh, we I will ask you or you will ask me, Dharam, can you explain me particular things which I I, I got the idea, but if you explain it again, or give me the example case study, that will make more sense. And the twenty question in that session will be the best thing you will learn because this is where you're going to pick learn how to do the exam question in real life. And you will be doing question very fast because other people also compete. You're competing with other people. You want to come out the answer very fast. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, highly recommend if you are planning to join my program, this uh, fast track program is very, very useful. And good thing is that because I'm uh, my company is REP, Registered Education Provider, I can offer you 26 PDUs for this program. If you are looking for PMP, upgrading your PMP or, or other, other certificate, you can do that. You will also get one hour of pre-exam strategy session. And uh, that is very, very powerful because this is where I will analyze your readiness. This is where I will uh, suggest you some tips before uh, what you have to do in that day on that day or to the exam date. And how you maintain your, you know, your motivation, what you do in 24 hours before the exam and how you're going to manage your exam itself. Okay. So even if you are not my student, you can actually uh, book uh, book this session one to one, one hour, two hour session with me. Uh, I, I, that's okay. I will help you to find out any gaps you have. Okay. And you will also get uh, PGMP Challenger. This is Question Bank and the Pathfinder. This is very another important document. This is actually uh, what I've done. Uh, ECO document, whatever if you have seen the task, I've divided or um, Converted those tasks into small into a picture form that will help you to read uh, understand the task in in, in a much better way uh, and the, the last point is talking about a mapping workbook this is very very important document which you will prepare as you go and you're going to use it before the exam the, this will become your cheat sheet okay and uh, video you know you will get application support uh, support it's got the video support handbook two examples 
And once your draft is ready, I will review it. Make sure I, you give me up enough time to review it. And uh, in between you and me, we'll finalize it. And once uh, both are uh, both of us are happy, you will submit the application. And and given that you have limited time now, I will request you to do the application as fast as you can and allow me one or two days so we, I can give you my good feedback. Post training support. Actually, this uh, this program goes up. I know until you achieve your PGMP, you know, it's not that two weeks or six weeks or eight weeks until you get your PGMP. Even people contacting me after two years or four years. Dharam, can you please help me? So my my motto is working together for success. Your success, my success. Because you are looking for uh, PGMP, I'm looking for number of PGMPs. I want to see if I can achieve 100 PGMP. Okay, so yep. Uh, again, uh, I'm getting more uh, greedy in that sense. I want to see anyone, anybody come to me should get PGMP. And uh, join this Telegram group and uh, send me invite. Uh, sorry, send me your phone number and then I will add you into the group. It's a free of charge. Even if you're not joining, if you're not my student, you will get benefit from this. Two programs uh, I like to talk about the two, both of them starting on 14th April. Uh, one of them is, uh, you know, you have to see the time difference. One of them is for me is 15th and the second, the number nine is starting on 14th. This will, number nine will work more for uh, people from Middle East, India and uh, Australia, New Zealand. And the first number seven will work more for people in Canada, USA and South America and those parts of the world. And it can also work for people in Australia and New Zealand. There is a fees, of course, 1150. I, I'm offering you discount. Of, uh, if you can contact me within next two hours, I will give you $200 discount. So uh, you, it's not available on on the on the on website. You have to send me a message that I'm interested. Can you please offer me discount? I have to send you a special PayPal request. And uh, if you just want to talk about PGMP or find out find out about the eligibility or anything about PGMP. Please book a time with me. You know you can uh, you can you can click the, to this link, and uh, it will take you to the appointment booking. You can book 15 minutes or 30 minutes. It's free of charge. No no, no nothing for you. And uh, we'll talk about your readiness or uh, whether you want to do it PGMP now or later, uh, fourth edition, whatever it is. You can book the time. It will be your time, and we can talk about uh, your uh, your requirement. And uh, otherwise, you can send me your uh, email or uh, call me, and uh, you can visit my website. So, any questions and clarification? Let me check if you have questions. And uh, at this stage, not sure why I'm not seeing any questions. So, anybody has written any question? I don't see any questions here. Is it something? Jagan, do you see any questions? No, I don't see any questions, Dharam. Maybe I think uh, uh, we have to open the audio or something. Mm, something is wrong. Or... No, I, I'm sure people are writing uh, questions, but I'm not seeing them. Uh, yeah, someone is so... waving the hands as well. Someone is uh, Arvindam. Arvindam Biswas is, I think, is waving the hands. I think he, they are not able to type the question. Or I'm not sure what is happening. Uh, can I allow? Unmute and unmute everybody. No, Ravindam. Unfortunately, I cannot. This is webinar, so I cannot allow uh, speaking. Uh, okay, what to do here? Uh, no, I don't know how to look. If there anybody written any question. So if there are any questions, which I will see a little later, I will uh, will check and uh, I will reply back to you, all of you, with the same question and answers. And uh, yeah, I think uh, Ahab is asking something. So yeah, guys, I, I don't know what's going on here. I cannot see your questions. If you written any questions here, and uh, where is that? But if you are writing on on, on the on we can write on the WhatsApp. I can I can see there if if you written something. Let me check quickly. No. Okay. I can cannot see your questions. I'm sure you've written some questions here. I will and I will analyze it 
and get back to you with questions and answers and uh, but you have my email address please please feel free to ask me question uh, by email specific question or you can book me uh, uh, book an appointment with me i hope you got uh, something out of this uh, please let me know uh, via whatsapp or telegram group or linkedin if you find found this program useful and you or if you have any constructive feedback or ne negative feedback i like to know that how we can improve this so i like to have i think twice a month kind of thing where i will invite uh, one of you in future if you are one of the pgmp and uh, my students especially and I, uh, or uh, yeah so please feel free to provide me feedback and whatever you feel good bad nothing wrong in that but let's stay in touch and uh, yeah contact me via um, email phone call i'm available so and jagan anything any last minute thing from you yeah uh, i would just like to say like uh, please look into dharam's uh, courses and uh, get back to him he has helped us a lot and uh, he's giving back to his profession as well and uh, he's a great guy to engage with and uh, thank you again i would like to thank dharam for giving me this opportunity to speak to you and share my experiences as well and hope i think this session is helpful and dharam has given a lot of insights to the future aspirants so yeah that's it thank you very much dharam for all thank the help you. that you have done thank thanks jagan and thank everyone joining this uh, uh, this webinar and some of you actually is very late night i can see uh, at least one or two people but thank you very much and let's stay in touch and all the best to all of you and all thank the you. best all the best thank you